All right, I brought some uh, cling wrap or whatever they call it from uh, my kitchen. And I'm going to uh, use this to keep my, my monster clay from sticking to the uh, clay. Time to play with some clay. I'm just gonna stick a piece on here of this monster clay and see if it'll stay and then if it'll lift and it does. All right, I think this will work. So anyway, I'm just uh, trying to bring together the uh, saddle the way I remember vaguely how it was made in Rick's uh, saddle shop. Mind you, it was back in the 80s <laughs> when I was there. Late, no, actually... It was back in the 90s, early 90s. And uh, I changed studios several times since then. And uh, I'm just trying to remember how he made his saddles. Now, his saddles are modern, and they have wide... Uh, areas on either side of the uh, I don't remember what the name of this part of the saddle is it's, it's uh, where the horn of the saddle is I think that's what they call it not a cowboy I don't know You can see why I've got it on this jig. It just makes it a lot easier for <clears throat> a lot easier for me to work on it. All right, I'm putting the armature for the uh, horn of the saddle on. I redid the horn armature because the other one was just a little too small. It didn't uh, hold up well, so I had to redo it. I'm trying to get this opening just right. I think that's the beauty of these uh, old saddles is that area of the horse, I mean the saddle. Okay, I'm going to try to 
finish off this horn. Okay, all right, I'm trying the saddle on the uh, horse to see how it looks, and uh looks okay. It doesn't look too big. What I'm trying to do is uh, do that leather area that, uh, there's a piece of leather that's laid down over the t top part of the saddle where the seat is. It comes down to here and there, and right here is a little conch uh, with the uh, some thongs coming out of it, and the same with right here too. What I'm doing is there's a skirt of leather that comes uh, out there. To about the center of the uh, saddle. What I'm doing is I'm placing it on a piece of clay that I put through the uh, pasta machine to keep it the same thickness. So that I can get both areas. On both sides. the same design. Okay, that might be just a little bit big in the front. In fact, it is.
Now that may seem like a lot of leather, but these old saddles that date back to the 70s and 80s or 60s had a lot of leather. Okay, I put the uh, saddle back on the horse. And I'm going to keep it on there now. I've got most of what I wanted to do done. I'm going to trim down this side just like I did yes on the other side. Now I'll have to put a little bit of a blanket that's going to be underneath the uh, saddle on there. And I'll do that uh, tomorrow. I'm gone as far as I can go today. But I'm happy the way it's turning out. We'll see if it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Let me see what the guy looks like sitting in it. This is the uh, gentleman for the horse. Oh, yeah, he fits fine. That figure is going to have to either be redone or completely uh, refined. All right, uh, got the saddle on. I got a lot of work to do on the saddle. It's not even close to being done. And once I get it done, then I'll paint it to look like the clay and it'll look a lot better. But I think it's uh, sized well for the figure of the horse. And uh, just have to uh, play with it a lot more. Saddles are going to be an important part of this piece, and it's going to take some special time to get it right. But I just thought it was time to put it on the horse and go from there. All right, everybody, have a great night, and uh, I'll see you uh, next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.